stormy weather. Happy New Year. Live from London, this is BBC News. The US Navy says it sunk three Houthi rebel boats in the Red Sea after they attacked a container ship off the coast of Yemen. The Queen of Denmark, Europe's longest serving monarch, announces she will step down after 52 years on the throne. President Putin says Russia won't back down in Ukraine as Moscow carries out more drone attacks. Dubai and Qatar put on spectacular light shows as celebrations take around, place around the world to welcome in 2024. And this is Athens, which is just seeing 2024 in, the latest to welcome in the new year. Hello, I'm Nikki Schiller. Welcome to BBC News. And I want to start by taking you to three more countries that are welcoming in 2024, but in different ways. Let's start in Greece. This is the scene in Athens, where, as you can see, there is a spectacular firework display taking place over the famous Parthenon Temple and the Acropolis. Thousands of people heading to Athens to witness these fireworks that take place every year as we see the new year in 2024 of course has been welcomed in around many places around the world already starting off with areas including New Zealand and Australia we've also welcomed it in in Asia in many parts of Asia already in 2024 still to come Europe and this is the first bit of Europe we had Russia an hour ago and Athens now and we also will of course have places like Paris and Berlin uh, in an hour's time and of course we will also have uh, London as well to come but I those are the celebrations in Athens it is a different picture in Ukraine let me show you the scene now in Kiev this is Independence Square in Kiev as you can see there there are no people on the streets the reason for that is there is a curfew in force because of the war with Russia so absolutely deserted streets in the Ukrainian capital Kyiv if people are celebrating at all they are doing it inside locals aren't allowed outside in Kyiv so let us now take you from one war in Ukraine to another. This is the scene uh, looking from Israel into Gaza, the skyline there as both Gaza and Israel look at the new year. Many, of course, probably hoping for peace as a new year present. So those are the scenes that we are seeing in the Middle East. Now, as I mentioned, still to come, we have New Year here in the United Kingdom. Final preparations being made. There is going to be a huge fireworks display in London and also revellers will be taking part in the traditional Hogmanay celebrations in Edinburgh. So let's get an update on both of those. Our correspondents are there. Greg McKenzie is in London, but first let's go to Lorna Gordon.